Each year, 6.7 million people worldwide die from cancer. One in four of all deaths in the UK are due to cancer. One in three people will develop some form of cancer during their lifetime. Cancer is a disease of the DNA. DNA is also what makes every species unique. What makes these people different? The DNA. At the University of Birmingham, chemists have been designing new drugs that will stop cancer by acting on the DNA. We asked Professor Hannan, the developer of the drug, how he came up with the idea. So we're interested in developing molecules, man-made molecules, that would be a similar size and shape to the very molecules that biology itself uses to recognise DNA. We're hoping in this way that we get exciting new DNA binding, but also new types of activity not seen with traditional small molecules. This new drug is prepared quite quickly in the laboratory from a carbon compound mixed with iron, which is found naturally in our bodies. We have the carbon compound in the flask and we need to add some iron. No, not that iron. And what does this drug look like? It has a cylindrical shape, that's why we call it a cylinder. But how does this cylinder work to treat cancer? The cylinder kills cancerous cells and stops their replication. Let's have a look at a model of DNA replication. The DNA splits in two and two complementary strands are used to form an exact replica of the original DNA. However, in cancerous DNA, the cylinder can block this by binding at the replication site, stopping the process. Here we can see the crystal structure of a DNA junction with the cylinder bound in the centre. It's a perfect fit. The cylinder is special as it is the perfect size and shape compared to other anti-cancer drugs. Current drugs bind all along the DNA. When the body tries to remove the drug using an enzyme, this damages the DNA, raising the risk of future cancers. As we have seen, the cylinder acts in a less damaging way. So when will we see this drug in the clinic? Obviously to take a drug into a human, there's a lot of tests that have to be done first to make sure it's absolutely safe. So it's still a number of years before this drug can actually start to help patients. But nevertheless, it's a very exciting breakthrough.